Yo, what's good, y'all? What's going on? It's Corner Sports Net. Now, I said about a month ago, probably less than that, the whole off-season, on-air personalities in the networks are going to talk about Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady. Now they talk about Tom Brady might come back and the 49ers might be a real good fit for him. They don't know what Tom Brady's going to do. And Aaron Rodgers, he, uh... He on the internet acting like he's gonna retire. I don't think he's gonna do that. Gonna give you much? Nah, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fall for him. I'm just gonna wait until Aaron Rodgers decides what he's gonna do. But I swore he was out of Green Bay last year, and he's still in Green Bay. He showed up first day at camp, ready to ball. Now Dev Devontae Adams, and I hope he get a long term deal. You know they can franchise him. He's like the second best wide receiver in the game. He deserves to get paid. He deserves to be the second highest paid wide receiver in the game or the first highest paid receiver in the game. That franchise tag, it's not a good look. Not for Devonta Adams. He's looking to get that generational wealth. Did y'all see that? What's the name? The Big South Conference. And the whole Ohio Valley Conference, they're gonna form as one, one conference, one big conference. I'm gonna see how that plays out. But it's a good thing because the Ohio Valley Conference was dying. They, can't, they couldn't keep football teams. And the Big South, like, who was really checking for them as a conference? So them joining forces with the Ohio Valley Conference is a good move. Jesse Michael Jordan at the All-Star Game, just hugging everybody. Joking, acting like he ain't been out since the pandemic hit. Hugging Mary J. Blige. Hugging all the NBA players. Talking crazy. As usual. Jordan had a real good time. I don't think he uh, was hugging Scottie Pippen. I don't think those two talked. I could be wrong. But Jordan had a real good time, yeah. You got LeBron James talking about. I must play my last year of NBA basketball with my son. Now look, I'm not getting, I'm not going to dog his son, because I want to see him do well. Plus, I'm not dogging no teenager. It's not me. I don't know if his son's going to be NBA ready in a couple years. I'm just saying. I watched the highlights. He's a good high school player, but I don't know. Some scouts will talk about he could be a second round pick. Like I say, he's a good high school player. I don't know if he's gonna make the NBA. I'm just being real. It's not like he averaging 35 points a game, 10 assists in high school. He ain't putting them kind of numbers up in high school. Now I hope he develops more his senior year. And I'm gonna wish him nothing but the best going forward, but I don't know if he's going to be an NBA player. And LeBron put a little, little extra pressure on him. Now, LeBron got crazy pull in the NBA, but I, I don't know. Um, LeBron, he got to keep working on this game. But looking at his stats, I don't, you know, I don't see it right now. And as far as him being as good as his father, now, nah, let, let's stop talking like that. Now, stop playing. You talk about the second be best basketball player to ever lace him up behind Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Those are big shoes to fill. Now, Brownie's a good high school player. He keep working on his game. I know his father working with him, but sometimes it don't matter who works with him. Sometimes it don't matter. It was the same thing with Dwayne Wade. Now, Dwayne Wade, his son got hooked up because Dwayne Wade is part owner of the Utah Jazz, so... Uh, Dwayne Wade's son is playing in the G League. But um, he ain't he ain't tearing up in high school either. So maybe Bron just got so much pull he can get his son on the roster Then they play that last year together. Something like that. If you look at the Greek freak, look at his uh his brothers. One brother plays with him, he averaged like one point a game. So maybe, I don't know, Bron got, Bron got the same type of pull 
as the Greek freak. Now we all know that the Greek freak, he got his brother, he got his brother on the roster with him. You can find anybody to score one point a game and give you a lot of energy and be a real, you know, chair for you on the bench and all that. So maybe it's, I don't know. Bronny James keep working, who knows what could happen. But uh, I just don't, right now, he's, just a high, he's a good high school player. North Carolina A&T, they track team dropped the number two in the country, but they got time to become number one in the rankings again, they got time. North Carolina A&T, they also joined the Colonial Athletic Conference. They on the move again. Look, these moves make sense. If you can make more money, get more exposure and more money. If you're just moving conference to conference and you ain't getting that bread, you know, what, what are you doing? They moved last summer. Now they're moving again. I just hope it pays off for North Carolina A&T. Georgia football signing EJ Lightly was shot multiple times in his hometown of Fitzgerald, Georgia. He said he was working out in the park and then bullets rang out. Shots rang out. There was a time when athletes was on, you know, you didn't bother athletes. If it was gang, if people was gang fighting, gang shooting, gang warring, you did not bother athletes. It was, they was off limits, but now that don't mean nothing no more. This new generation is a little different. Also, over the weekend, Raheem Jeter, a West Virginia signee, was shot in the leg in Spartansburg, South Carolina. It was a road rage incident. Now, I'm not gonna go, he's doing okay. Both people doing okay. They're gonna make a recovery. That's what I, what I read. But um, the gun violence is out of control. It's getting worse, it's not getting better. But there used to be a time where people didn't bother athletes. Athletes couldn't, as long as they was balling, and minding their business, nobody, nobody bothered athletes. Today is totally different. Athletes are getting shot on the red one. It's crazy because nobody is using their hands anymore to fight. Nobody's having a fair one anymore. Fair one is old school, played out. They're not doing that. In the, in the case of EJ Lightsey, he got shot in his neighborhood, his hometown. Now he's a big football star, and you gotta know who he is. But he got shot in the shoulder a couple of times. I think his leg is back. But he's uh none of it's life threatening. He's gonna enroll in Georgia over the summer. And the sad part is most of these guys don't even be they're not even worrying about it. they get shot. They uh brush it off. And they go, they go about their business. They, it doesn't even phase them. They so used to gun violence in their neighborhood and it don't even phase them. I'm gonna talk to these guys later. It's Corner Sports Night.